Now, next theorem is let A be a complex Banach algebra with identity and G be a set of all invertible all invertible vector then m is a complement of g set of all non invertible element or vector of a then show that m is closed or we can also say that g is open set now let x not belongs to g since G is a set of all invertible vector, then it implies X naught is regular or invertible. We know that for every Y belongs to A with the norm of Y minus E less than 1, then Y is regular and Y inverse can be written as E plus summation of E minus 1 Y raised to power n. So we take n x naught, which is a set of all x belongs to A, such that norm of x minus x naught is less than 1 by norm of x0 inverse. So we take a neighborhood of x naught with the radius, with the radius 1 by norm of x0 inverse. Our purpose is neighborhood of X naught is a subset of G. So in order to prove this result, we take some vector belongs to neighborhood of X naught and that vector belongs to G. So if we take X belongs to neighborhood of X naught, then it implies X belongs to G. Let X belongs to neighborhood of X naught. It implies norm of x minus x0 less than y1 over norm of x0 inverse. It implies this product is less than 1. Now consider x0 inverse into x minus e, which is equal to x0 x since identity is equal to x0 inverse into x0 then it this value is equal to x0 inverse into x minus x0 by using the property of norm norm algebra this norm is less than equal to norm of first vector into norm of second vector and we know that this value is less than one if this value is less than one so it means x0 minus x0 raised to power minus 1 into x minus e less than 1. If we take this vector as y, if this vector treated as y, then using the result, using the previous result, no, it implies norm of y minus e less than 1. If it implies norm of y minus e less than 1, then using the previous result, y is invertible. If y is invertible and g is a set which is consisting all invertible vector, then y belongs to g. If y belongs to g, then also we know that y is equal to x naught inverse into x. So this can be written as x naught y equal to x by multiplication by left multiplication by x0. It implies x0 y equal to x. Now we know that x0 is invertible. So x0 belongs to g. y is invertible. So y belongs to g. And g is a group. So this product belongs to g. It means this x belongs to G. So if X belongs to G, then neighborhood of X naught is a subset of G. If neighborhood of X naught is subset of G, then it implies G is a open set. If G is a open set, then it complement is a closed set, which implies M is closed.
Now, next definition is spectral radius. If A be a complex Banach space, then spectral radius of element X belongs to A, which is defined as R sigma X, which is equal to supremum of absolute value of lambda, where lambda belongs to sigma of X. In case of operator, this value r sigma t which is a supremum of absolute value of lambda lambda belongs to sigma t now clearly we know that r sigma is a supremum of absolute value of lambda so it means this value is always greater than absolute value of lambda for every lambda belongs to sigma s similarly in case of operator r sigma of t is greater than equal to absolute value of lambda for every lambda belongs to sigma t so this is called a this is a called a spectral radius